does this actually need to be done? If we completely got rid of this and didn't do this task anymore, would it have any impact? Would we still comply with the audit standards? Will we still deliver the same service to the, to the client? If you can delete things, they are immediate efficiency gains. It's the number one benefit that you will get is just not doing something anymore. Do not automate things that you don't need to do. Simply remove them. And that's always the first step. Critically look at, is this necessary? The second step of this is, if it is necessary, let's simplify that. Let's make it less complex so it can be done by somebody more junior or it can be easier to understand what is required. The number of times that we used to come across a, a, an audit task or an activity which was about three paragraphs long in terms of what it was asking you to do, but it could be summarized in about four words. That is a big gain if you can get that simplicity more prominent. Third step was, if we need to do this and we've simplified it, can we now standardize this? Do we really need five to 10 different ways of doing the exact same activity? Or can we get to a consistent one or two ways that we do this? Because that then unlocks the ability to automate. You cannot automate 1,000 different things that are all done in different ways. You can automate one thing that is done a 1,000 times in a consistent way. And so if you take nothing else from my session here today, this would be the one that I would really emphasize to you. Think about this when you're thinking about process transformation, the four steps and how to critically look at any process to eliminate things from it, simplify the process, standardize it to be able to unlock automation. 